George Sanders was a British actor who became a Hollywood star, known for his distinctive voice and suave demeanor. He appeared in over 100 films during his career, which spanned four decades. Sanders is perhaps best remembered for his role as the villainous Addison DeWitt in the 1950 classic All About Eve, for which he won an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor. Sanders was born in Russia to English parents and spent his childhood traveling the world due to his father's job as a military attaché. He began his acting career on the stage in Britain before moving to Hollywood in the 1940s. Sanders quickly became a sought-after actor, known for his sophisticated and elegant screen presence. Throughout his career, Sanders played a variety of roles, from suave leading men to cunning villains. He appeared in films such as Rebecca, The Picture of Dorian Gray, and The Jungle Book. Sanders also starred in several successful film noir titles, including The Stranger on the Third Floor and The File on Thelma Jordan. In addition to his work in film, Sanders also appeared on television and stage. He even released a record album of his own songs in the 1950s. Sanders' career was a testament to his versatility and talent as an actor, and he left behind a legacy that continues to inspire and entertain audiences today. Sanders passed away in 1972, but his contributions to the world of entertainment are still felt today. He remains a beloved figure in Hollywood, and his work continues to be celebrated and admired by fans and industry professionals alike. George Sanders' life and career are a true testament to the power of perseverance, talent, and hard work. George Sanders was a British actor known for his distinctive voice and suave demeanor. He appeared in numerous films throughout his career, including Rebecca, All About Eve, and The Picture of Dorian Gray. His performances left a lasting impact on audiences, and he remains a beloved figure in classic Hollywood. Do you have a favorite moment from one of George Sanders' films? Is there a particular role that stands out to you? We'd love to hear about it in the comments below. There are many interesting stories and anecdotes about Sanders' life and career. For example, did you know that he was married four times, including Taz Sazai Gabor and Benita Hume? Or that he won an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor for his role in All About Eve? We're excited to share some fun, surprising, and even sad facts about George Sanders in this video. So be sure to keep watching to learn more about this classic star. Do you have a cherished memory or personal experience related to George Sanders? We'd love to hear about it. Share your stories and memories in the comments below. George Sanders, born on July 3, 1906, in St. Petersburg, Russia, was the son of a British commodities trader and a Russian mother. His family moved around quite a bit due to his father's job, living in England, Spain, and eventually settling in France. This nomadic upbringing exposed Sanders to various cultures and languages, which would later benefit him in his acting career. As a young man, Sanders had a brief stint at Cambridge University before leaving to pursue a career in business. However, he soon discovered his passion for the stage and began performing in small theater productions. His early exposure to acting came from watching his sister, Margaret, perform in plays. She would later become a successful actress in her own right, known by her stage name, Margaret Lockwood. Sanders' path to acting was not without challenges. He faced financial difficulties and struggled to find work in the theater. However, his perseverance paid off when he was discovered by a talent scout and offered a contract with a British film studio. Sanders' big break came in 1936 when he was cast in the film Lloyds of London. His performance caught the attention of audiences and critics alike, and he quickly became a sought after leading man. Throughout his career, Sanders worked with many influential figures in the film industry. He starred in several films directed by the legendary Alfred Hitchcock, including Rebecca and Foreign Correspondent. He also worked with esteemed actors such as Ingrid Bergman, Marlene Dietrich, and Greta Garbo. Sanders' unique blend of charm, wit, and sophistication made him a favorite among audiences. He was known for his distinctive voice and his ability to play both suave leading men and sinister villains. His contributions to the world of film were significant and his legacy continues to resonate with audiences today. George Sanders was a British-American actor, known for his distinctive voice and elegant demeanor. He appeared in over 100 films and television shows from the 1930s to the 1970s. One of his earliest and most memorable roles was in the 1938 film The Prisoner of Zenda, where he played the villainous Rupert of Hensau. 
In 1941, he starred in Rebecca, Alfred Hitchcock's first American film, as the charming but menacing Jack Fable. Sanders is perhaps best known for his role as the suave and cunning detective Simon Templer, also known as the Saint in a series of films throughout the 1940s. He also played the role of the mysterious and charming gentleman thief in the 1946 film The Man in the Gray Flannel Suit. In 1947, Sanders won an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor for his role as the cynical and sarcastic screenwriter Addison DeWitt in All About Eve. He also played a similar role in the 1950 film No Man of Her Own. Later in his career, Sanders appeared in several television shows, including General Electric Theater, Alfred Hitchcock Presents, and The Twilight Zone. He also starred in several Disney films, such as The Sword in the Stone and The Jungle Book. For those new to George Sanders' work, All About Eve is a must-watch film. His performance as Addison DeWitt is both chilling and captivating, and it showcases his talent for playing complex and nuanced characters. Rebecca and The Prisoner of Zenda are also excellent films that showcase his early acting prowess. In conclusion, George Sanders was a talented actor with a long and varied career. From his early roles in swashbuckling adventures to his iconic performance in All About Eve, he left a lasting impact on the film industry. Whether you're a fan of classic films or just discovering his work for the first time, there's something in his filmography for everyone to enjoy. George Sanders, born on July 3, 1906, in St. Petersburg, Russia, discovered his passion for acting during his teenage years. After his family moved to England, he attended the Brighton College, and it was there that he got bitten by the acting bug. He participated in various school plays and found great joy in making people laugh and entertained by his performances. After finishing his education, Sanders decided to pursue acting as a career. He started off by performing in small plays and gradually made his way up the ladder. He even worked as a scriptwriter and a theater critic before finding his footing in the world of acting. One of the pivotal experiences for Sanders was his move to America in the late 1930s. This was a turning point in his career as he started getting roles in Hollywood movies. He became a sought-after actor and played roles in several successful films such as Rebecca, The Picture of Dorian Gray, and All About Eve. Sanders once mentioned in an interview that he fell in love with acting because it gave him the freedom to express himself and connect with people on an emotional level. He loved the idea of stepping into someone else's shoes and living their life, if only for a few hours. Throughout his career, Sanders was known for his sophisticated and charming persona, which made him a favorite among audiences and critics alike. He left behind a legacy of memorable performances that continue to inspire aspiring actors to this day. George Sanders' acting career was marked by notable performances in various roles. His involvement in acting started when a colleague, Greer Garson, suggested it to him while they both worked at the same advertising firm. One of his most famous roles was as the Saren of Gaza in Samson and Delilah. Interestingly, when Sanders learned that Victor Mature had helped him secure the role, he bought 26 TV sets from Mature's store and gave them to his acquaintances as a gesture of gratitude. Sanders' portrayal of Addison DeWitt in All About Eve earned him an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor. However, instead of celebrating with his wife, Zaza Gabor, in the audience, Sanders disappeared from the theater right after receiving the award. These anecdotes offer a glimpse into Sanders' personality and provide insight into his relationships with his colleagues and loved ones. George Sanders, a talented actor, faced many challenges in his early career. Born in Russia in 1906, Sanders moved around quite a bit due to his father's job, which made it difficult for him to put down roots. Despite this, he had a passion for acting and pursued it with determination. One of the biggest obstacles Sanders faced was financial instability. He struggled to make ends meet, working odd jobs to support himself while trying to break into the acting industry. However, he never gave up on his dream. Sanders found creative solutions to his money problems, such as pooling resources with fellow actors and sharing living expenses. Sanders also faced skepticism from the industry. At the time, there were few roles for foreign-born actors, and Sanders' Russian accent made it even harder for him to find work. But he refused to let this stop him. Sanders worked tirelessly to improve his English and perfect his acting skills. He even took voice lessons to help reduce his accent. Sanders' resilience paid off. 
He eventually landed his first major role in the 1936 film Lloyds of London, which was a huge success. From there, Sanders' career took off, and he went on to become a successful and well-respected actor. Despite the many obstacles he faced, Sanders never lost sight of his dream. He persevered through financial struggles and industry skepticism, finding creative solutions and working tirelessly to improve his craft. Sanders' story is a testament to the power of determination and the importance of never giving up on one's dreams. George Sanders, known for his distinctive baritone voice, released a sought-after album titled The George Sanders Touch Songs for the Lovely Lady in 1958. In the picture of Dorian Gray, he portrayed Lord Henry Wotton, a character who was reading the flowers of evil's Fleurs du Mal by Charles Baudelaire when introduced. This collection of romantic poems, first published in Wedded Eden 57, explores themes like despair, love, and women. Sanders' voice was also showcased in the Italian post-synchronized version of All About Eve, where he was dubbed by Emilio Sigoli. The film's ensemble cast included Bette Davis, Ann Baxter, and Marilyn Monroe, among others, each dubbed by notable Italian voice actors. George Sanders, an English film actor, had several breakthrough moments throughout his career. In the late 1930s, Sanders started getting noticed for his work in British films like The Saint in London and The Ghost of St. Michael's. His career took a significant turn when he moved to Hollywood in 1940. One of his earliest successes in the U.S. was his performance as actor Addison DeWitt in the film All About Eve in 1950. His portrayal of the acid-tongued theater critic earned him a much-deserved Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor. His fellow cast members and critics alike praised his performance, noting his ability to steal every scene he was in. Another notable role was as the villainous Shere Khan in Disney's The Jungle Book in 1967. Despite being his last film role, Sanders left a lasting impression as the sinister tiger with a smooth, cultured voice. Critics and audiences appreciated his ability to bring a new level of sophistication to a traditionally menacing role. Throughout his career, George Sanders was known for his distinctive voice, debonair charm, and sharp wit. These qualities allowed him to excel in a variety of roles and solidified his place as a respected and admired actor in both Britain and Hollywood. George Sanders, a well-known actor, sold his house in Majorca, Spain, after being persuaded by a woman he was involved with. He checked into a hotel in Barcelona and was found dead two days later, next to five empty tubes of Nibitol. This fulfilled a promise he had made to his friend David Niven in 1937, stating his intention to commit suicide when he grew older. In 1972, he left a note saying, Dear world, I am leaving because I am bored. I feel I have lived long enough. I am leaving you with your worries in this sweet cesspool. Good luck. In the film Solomon and Sheba, Sanders played Adnija. Co-producer and star Tyrone Power had shot more than half of the film when he suffered a massive heart attack during a dueling scene with Sanders and died five days later. Joel Brenner replaced Power as Solomon, reshooting all of Power scenes. Despite this, Power can still be seen in some long shots. George Sanders, a British actor, was known for his distinctive voice and sophisticated demeanor. He approached his work with meticulous preparation, often immersing himself in the script and researching his character's background. Sanders had a unique style that combined a charming exterior with a hint of cynicism, which he used to great effect in his roles. His personal experiences, including his extensive travels and knowledge of different cultures, added depth to his portrayals. Sanders' worldview, often marked by a witty and detached cynicism, was reflected in many of his characters. He had a knack for playing complex, morally ambiguous figures with subtle nuance. Sanders' work was not just about acting, he also contributed to the writing and production of several films. This holistic approach allowed him to have a significant influence on the final product, further distinguishing his style and approach. In essence, George Sanders' artistic vision was characterized by his meticulous preparation, unique style, and the incorporation of his personal experiences and worldview into his work. George Sanders, known for his distinctive voice and good looks, had a prolific acting career that included appearances in multiple Best Picture Academy Award winners and nominees. His portrayal of the devious Miles Fairley in The Ghost and Mistress Mirror showcases his talents. Sanders' career highlights include roles in Rebecca and All About Eve, both of which won the Academy Award for Best Picture, 
as well as in foreign correspondent and Ivanhoe, which were nominated. In Rebecca, he played the sinister Jack Fable, opposite Joan Fontaine, who he would later work with again in Ivanhoe. In addition to his film work, Sanders also had a successful career in television and on the stage, further solidifying his status as a talented actor. Despite the passage of time, his legacy continues to endure and his performances remain captivating to this day. George Sanders was a British actor known for his distinctive voice and sophisticated demeanor. He made over 100 film and television appearances, but is best remembered for his roles in films like Rebecca, All About Eve, and The Picture of Dorian Gray. Sanders brought a unique blend of charm, wit, and suave villainy to his roles. His contribution to the industry lies in his ability to elevate any film with his presence, often stealing the show with just a few lines of dialogue. Industry experts and those he's inspired have often commented on Sanders' impact. Film critic David Thompson described him as the most elegant and watchable of all British actors. Director Billy Wilder, who worked with Sanders in the major and the minor, said he had a remarkable voice, like a well-oiled machine, and his delivery was so precise. Sanders' influence can be seen in the work of many modern actors. His sophisticated and charming villains have inspired a long line of similar characters in film and television. Actor Hugh Grant has cited Sanders as an influence, noting his smooth, seductive, and slightly menacing screen presence. In addition to his acting, Sanders was also a talented writer. He penned several novels and a memoir, Memoirs of a Professional Cad, which offers a unique and entertaining insight into his life and career. Overall, George Sanders' contribution to the film industry is significant and enduring. His unique style and approach to acting have left a lasting impact on the industry and continue to influence actors and filmmakers today. Before voicing Shere Khan in The Jungle Book, animator Milt Kahl's drawings of the Hottie Tiger resembled George Sanders, leading to his casting. In a sibling career decision, Sanders and his brother Tom flipped a coin to determine name changes. Tom, having lost, adopted the name Conway after a random payphone call to Conway's fish market. Sanders, as Clemeny Sabrin, featured in Death of a Scoundrel alongside Zaza Gabor, his ex-wife from 1949 to 1954. Later, he married her elder sister Magda Gabor from 1970 to 1971. His acting career intertwined with the Gabor sisters, creating a unique personal and professional history. George Sanders, the renowned actor, had a rich personal life that greatly influenced his professional career. He was known for his sophisticated and debonair persona, which he brought to his roles on screen. In his personal life, Sanders had a deep appreciation for art, literature, and music, which he often incorporated into his work. Sanders was a well-educated man who spoke several languages fluently. He had a particular love for Russian culture, which was reflected in some of his film choices. For instance, he starred in the film version of Fyodor Dostovsky's The Brothers Karamazov in 1958. Apart from his acting career, Sanders was also passionate about philanthropy. He was a generous benefactor to various charitable causes throughout his life, using his wealth and influence to make a positive impact on the world. One of the organizations close to his heart was the Royal Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, for which he actively raised funds and awareness. Sanders' personal values and interests were deeply intertwined with his professional life, making him a truly unique and multidimensional artist. He was not just an actor, but a man of culture, refinement, and compassion, who used his talents to make a difference in the world. George Sanders is mentioned in the Kinks 1972 song Celluloid Heroes for his distinctive style. He was known for playing sophisticated and sometimes villainous characters in films like While the City Sleeps and Sundown. And While the City Sleeps, Sanders starred alongside Vincent Price, and both actors excelled in roles that contrasted with their usual darker portrayals. In Sundown, Sanders' character, Major L. Herbie Coombs, arrives in a Stinson Model A, showcasing his on-screen charm and charisma. Sanders' career is marked by his ability to adapt to various roles and leave a lasting impression on audiences. George Sanders left behind a significant legacy in the acting industry. His distinctive voice and sophisticated demeanor made him a standout in every role he played. His work in films like Rebecca, All About Eve, and the picture of Dorian Gray showcased his talent and versatility. As for the future, 
I envision continuing to contribute to the industry through memorable and impactful performances. I believe in constantly challenging myself and taking on diverse roles that allow me to grow as an artist. For aspiring professionals, my advice is to never stop learning and improving your craft. Surround yourself with supportive and creative individuals who will push you to be your best. Don't be afraid to take risks and step out of your comfort zone. And most importantly, have patience and persistence. Success won't come overnight, but with hard work and dedication, you can make a lasting impact in the industry. George Sanders played the role of the Saren of Gaza in the film Samson and Delilah. During the climactic sequence, where the Temple of Dagon is brought down, some dynamite charges failed to go off on schedule in the first attempt, requiring a rebuild and a second take. Both attempts can be seen in the final movie. Sanders is also credited as the author of the mystery novel Stranger at Home, but it was actually ghostwritten by Lee Brackett. The novel's dedication reads to Lee Brackett, whom I have never met. In addition, Sanders was married to both Zaza Gabor and Magda Gabor, who were sisters. George Sanders was a British actor who made a significant impact in Hollywood with his distinctive voice and suave demeanor. Born in 1906, he began his career on the stage before transitioning to film in the 1930s. Throughout his career, he appeared in over 100 films, including classics like Rebecca, The Picture of Dorian Gray, and All About Eve. Sanders was known for his versatility, excelling in a range of roles from charming leading men to cunning villains. His passion for acting was evident in every performance, and he brought a unique style and presence to each character he played. In addition to his work in film, Sanders was also a talented singer and writer. He authored several books, including his memoir, Memoirs of a Professional Cad, and even composed and performed his own theme song for the TV show Fair Exchange. Sanders' enduring impact on the entertainment industry is a testament to his creativity and perseverance. Despite facing challenges and setbacks throughout his career, he remained committed to his craft and continued to innovate and take risks. The power of creativity and perseverance is evident in Sanders' legacy. He showed that with hard work and dedication, it is possible to make a lasting mark on the world. His story serves as a reminder that success is not just about talent, but also about the determination to keep going, even when things get tough. So whether you're an aspiring artist or simply looking for inspiration, take a page from George Sanders' book. Embrace your passion, take risks, and never give up. The world needs more people who are willing to create, innovate, and make a difference. Let's take a moment to discuss the work of George Sanders, a remarkable actor known for his distinctive voice and charming personality. Sanders appeared in a variety of films, from film noir classics like Double Indemnity to comedies such as The Lady Eve. His contributions to the entertainment industry are still celebrated today. We would love to hear your thoughts on Sanders' films and his impact on cinema. What did you enjoy most about his acting style? Which of his performances stood out to you? Share your memories and opinions with us in the comments below. If you found this reflection enjoyable, please consider liking and sharing it with your friends. Your support helps us continue creating content that celebrates the lives and works of influential figures in entertainment. For more engaging discussions on the creative souls that have shaped the world of entertainment, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Together, let's appreciate the artistry and legacies of these talented individuals.